Here is the latest release from RZE watches. This is the Valor collection, and it is a grade two titanium mecha quartz chronograph. This is a 60 minute counter chronograph like you've seen in a lot of other mecha quartz watches. And there's going to be three options. There is the black model, which is called GT Black, a Crusader white, which will be the regular blasted uh, case with a white dial and then a vintage salmon color as well. Got a lot of information from them uh, for the press release in a PDF file. So I'll probably throw up a screen cap there of the tech specs. And also I have a promotional video that they did that I asked if I could borrow and insert into this video to show you all of the options that they have going on with this piece. Now I have the chronograph running here in the stationary shot just so you could get a better look at the dial and of course I'll have other footage here uh, thrown in giving you a better look at this watch. Your price is going to be $369 now as far as when this will be released. I'm actually recording this in May. This watch will go live in July so by the time you see this, uh, you know, I'll have a better idea of when this watch is actually going to launch. Uh, I have to wait for the go ahead uh, from RZE watches to do that, but I'll leave it down in the description or a pinned comment. And in the meantime, uh, depending on when this video goes live, you could just sign up at the RZE website for the newsletter and then be notified when this collection goes live. The important thing to note as well is that this, when it does go live, will be ready for immediate release. It's an immediate launch. It's not a pre-order or anything like that. So you'll be able to buy it as soon as it is released. Now, before we get into the rest of this review, let me welcome back all of our subscribers. Thank you for coming back and checking out another watch report review. If this is your first time here, welcome and hello. I would appreciate if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Of course, if you liked what you have seen here as far as video watch reviews go on the internet. And uh, you could check out all of the links down in the description below. Of course, there will be links to uh, written article on watchreport.com as well as the RZE website. So what you have here is a grade two titanium case. Now this has the ultra hex coating much like the last RZE watch that I reviewed and uh, that was the Endeavor uh, dive style piece. This has that ultra hex coating as well. It is a hardened coating up to 1200 Vickers. You're looking at a 42 millimeter case. It's 12 and a half millimeters thick, 20 millimeters in lug width, 49 millimeter lug to lug. It has that S2 v uh, VK64 mecha quartz movement, 200 meters water resistant. This does have a screw down crown with a reverse engraved logo. You got a multi-layer dial here, there with the chronograph um, sub dials. Custom shaped hands with Swiss Super Luminova. It does, of course, have a sapphire crystal with an inner AR coating. And it is an FKM rubber strap. And the buckle is titanium as well with that ultra hex coating. And then you do get a screw down titanium case back. So you're getting a lot of watch for $369. Yes, this is not an automatic, but you're not going to really get an automatic chronograph uh, for $369. The case shape, uh, I really like. It has that vintage style to it. Not really uh, a cushion case shape. I mean, yeah, you could probably make the argument. Uh, kind of reminds me of some uh, Zodiac watches from the early 2000s. I really do like the case shape. And I also think that, uh, I don't know what their plans are moving forward, but I think this case shape can lend itself uh, to other styles of watches, say a dive watch. You could put a dive bezel on this, a three hand dive watch. I think this would look really, really good with this case shape as well. It's a very comfortable case shape. The pushers uh, for the chronograph are uh, nicely integrated and slanted there and kind of follow the lines of the case. So it creates a very nice look. The screw down crown works very, very nice. I'm, I'm very glad to see that it's not only 200 meters water resistant, but it does have that screw down crown. 
because usually you just don't see that in watches like this. They, they you know, sometimes they're just five or 10, uh, you know, ATM water resistance. So I'm glad to see that you're actually getting that full water resistance with a screw down crown. Now, as I said, you're gonna get three dial color options. This is the only one that is going to be in the PVD black. You know, looking at the three colors, the salmon to me is intriguing, but not really my personal style. I like the look of the Crusader white, but this black, I, I've been saying this for a couple of videos now, I, I have a thing lately for all black watches. I don't know why, I just, I'm really, really attracted to them currently. And uh, this one is very nice. I love orange. Black and orange are just two colors I really, really like. So this one works perfect for me. You know, when you get up close here on the dial, I'll give you a nice close-up look at the dial here. It's a nice clean dial. It's not going to be anything out of the ordinary from your standard Mecha Quartz chronographs or anything like that. Now, do keep in mind, this is only a 60-minute counter you're only going to be able to track 60 minutes there at a time and then that sub dial at the three o'clock position is your 24 hour time you do have a nice date cut out there down at the six o'clock position the dial overall is relatively clean for a chronograph even a two-eye chronograph and uh yeah i mean you got your tachymeter scale there on the bezel and it, it's pretty simple and standard compared to the rest of the watches like this out there. But then you're, of course, getting this titanium case, and in this case, this uh, blasted and hardened titanium case. So it, it creates a nice look, and this one does have that vintage style to it. When it comes to the case back, it's really plain and simple, very straightforward. Uh, nothing to write home about, and I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. It's just a nice, clean, simple case back. It's flat. It's going to feel great on the wrist. You don't have to worry anything about rubbing or uh, chafing your wrist or any kind of designs or, or engravings or anything like that. The rubber strap, it's an FKM rubber strap. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. It, it's very similar to natural rubber. It doesn't have, you know, any lint or dust on it. This one's very nice. It fits my seven and a half inch wrist, uh, seven and a half inch wrist very nicely with a, a good couple of spots left over. So if you have a larger wrist than mine, you should still be able to wear this watch, no problem. Nice custom buckle on it. And one of the things that I like that they did here is that they didn't go for a fitted end piece. Now they very well could have gone for a fitted end, you know, molded end rubber strap here. But then the watch wouldn't lay flat. And not only would it not lay flat, but then when you put it on your wrist, it's going to have that over curvature to it because it'll extend out from the lugs. And I don't think it would fit as comfortably as this one does with your standard uh, lugs. You also do have drilled lug holes on this, which is very nice as well. Makes strap changing a lot easier. When it comes to the loom, it's pretty good. Uh, it's about what I would expect for a watch such as this. Um, you know, we're talking, I, I always try and say, like, I think watches in this price range are a lot easier to review usually than, say, a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars because the higher up you go in price, you expect more. And I think at three hundred and sixty nine dollars, I, I, I think this really has a lot going for it. I mean, it's titanium, you got a custom strap, sapphire crystal. It is a mecha quartz movement, but it is 200 meters water resistant with the screw down crown. When it comes to the loom, uh, I think it's uh, average. And uh, like I said, that's what I expected, but uh, it'll do the job. And, uh, you know, it, it's not going to be a loom monster or anything like that, but uh, it's not faded or craggly or anything like that. And it does a nice job uh, glowing bright in the dark. I have to say, I like this collection, and it's, when you look at RZE as a company, the fact that they're releasing their third watch already uh, in such a short amount of time, because they only came out in 2020, and, you know, they had, their first watch was, I can't think of the name of the first watch, but it was very similar to the Endeavor Dive Watch, except it didn't have the dive bezel, I think it was the Resolute, I think that's the name of it, and then you had the Endeavor, which was, of course, pretty similar but now, like, you know, it's a dive watch, but now this one, a completely new case design and style for them. So obviously they have a plan and I, I'm, 
I imagine they're going to have another release probably before the end of the year, just, just based on their track record and the way they are going. I, I don't know what that watch is going to be, and I'm not hyping anything up for them. I really have no idea what the next watch is going to be from them. Um, I'm sure I'll find out uh, eventually, but uh, I like what the brand is doing. They're keeping things affordable, but they're really offering a lot of watch uh, for the money, at least from what I have seen so far. Now, this particular piece, I like this watch a lot. Probably not going to be one that I would look at. Or, you know, it's just, uh, I'm not a big chronograph guy usually. And I, like I said, I'd love to see this in, in a three-hand design, maybe in a dive-style watch or something like that, or a field-style watch. But for what this watch is, I think it's very, very nice. Of course, uh, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. As I said, I will have all the links down in the description. And uh, of course, I always appreciate you guys here coming back and checking out my reviews here at watchreport.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.